got married. What we did after that? Ooh, well. Yeah, but see, the the other thing with truck driving uh, is that you learn uh, really early in it that it's pretty dangerous. It can be dangerous. Uh, and I don't mean just the driving down the road and the fools trying to run over you. I mean, is in like in the big cities and the truck stops in the big cities, it's pretty, that can get pretty dangerous. And we were in Texas, in Dallas, Texas one time. We were, our, we were based out of Dallas, Texas. Our home office was in Dallas. And we were looking for a place to find something to eat. And there was a pilot truck stop with, I don't know, a subway or something like that down the road. And we went to it and all the parking lot, I mean, parking spots were full, we couldn't find a place to park. Well, there was a smaller truck stop across the interstate from there, dump. But the thing was, it had a uh, McDonald's right next door to it. So we went and we parked the truck at the truck stop and walked over to the McDonald's and got something to eat and stuff. And when we came back, we were coming back, it was getting close to dark. <clears throat> Headed back across the field and there's all these crackheads running across the field and acting crazy and stuff I'm like oh shit hurry up we gotta get the truck so we get we were we were bobtailing we were short in other words we didn't have a trailer behind us and we we're parked you know in, way up in between two other trucks with trailers so it's like an alley and yeah i know so you know we're trying to hurry and get to the truck and we start down the alleyway and Heather goes to the passenger side, and I go to the driver's side, you know, and I unlock the door and we get up in it. As we're climbing up and I'm unlocking the door, at the end of the alleyway, here this one crackhead starts down the thing towards our truck. I'm like, son of a bitch. I hurry up and I open the door and jump in and pop the lock and let Heather in and roll the windows up, you know, or make sure the windows are up or whatever. And this dude walks up and climbs up the side of the truck on my side. Poom, 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 knocks on the window. I'm like, what? What do you want? He's like, hey, uh, man, uh, you got a lighter I can borrow or buy from you? I was like, dude, my, I got one lighter. And there's a store right there. <laughs> they got like hundreds of lighters. They're sold out. Yeah, man, but they won't sell me no more lighters. Like, they won't sell you no more lighters? Yeah, man, I really need to borrow your light. I need to borrow your lighter. I'm like, son of a bitch. All right, you know, I'm actually still kind of thinking it might be a chance he's going to light a cigarette or something. So I crack the window and slide the lighter out to this dude. And the dude takes the lighter and jumps off the side of the truck and starts walking. I'm like, damn, he's going to steal the lighter, I guess. No, I'll let him have no, it. No, he walks in front of the truck and pulls out a crack pipe and starts hitting this thing. And Heather's like, I got another lighter. I'm like, look, dude. <laughs> hey, man, you can have that lighter. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and get on out of here, man. You can, you can have that one, though. All right, man, thanks. You know, <laughs> you know what? Sitting here, you telling that lovely story about the crackhead made me think about you. Remember that lot lizard? <laughs> yeah, Ellie got pretty mad at me about that. Yes, they have lot lizards. They a lot Basically, lizard. a prostitute that That's works a truck stop. Yeah, lot lizard. Yeah. And you got to be aware of them. A lot of times, you'll see signs on big trucks that say "No lot lizards." Yeah. It's no, got yeah. the no, you know, like no drugs, no lot lizards. Well, I'm in the back of the sleeper with the curtain closed. We're in what? What was it? Memphis, Texas. Yeah, it was West you Memphis, know, Arkansas. Yeah. yeah. And that's a pretty wild place. I mean, you hit that area and there's your CB goes wild. Yeah. Well, I'm in the back of the sleeper and all of a sudden I hear this female voice in the truck. And I'm like, oh, no. this. And so I sit back there real quietly. And this, and Jeff's just talking because Jeff's friendly. And he's just going to talk. <laughs> and she has to use the uh, CB. CB. And yeah. Jeff's like, oh, yeah, sure. You can use my CB. And, Next thing you know, she starts pimping herself out with our radio. Uh, radio. I open that curtain up and that girl <laughs> sees me. And she's like, oh, hey, I'm so-and-so. I was like, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Get the hell out of the truck. <laughs> well, she gets out, so then Jeff gets third degree. You know, what the hell are you doing letting that wall loose in this truck? Are you crazy? Uh, well, baby, she just wanted to use the radio. No. So that was one crazy time. Oh, uh, what? 
Anyway, so we could go on forever about yeah, different stories with that. I, there's a hundreds. But anyway, that's what we did after we got married. We hit the road. For, we was on the road for about two years, and we did the whole truck driving thing. Seen a lot of stuff. Experienced a lot of things. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, might do it again one day just for the fun of it. Huh? Yeah. It'd be fun. Sounds like a plan, Dan. Mm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this little vlog. So remember to rate it, comment it, let us know what you think. And we'll be getting some more of Get to Know Heather and Jack.